Fab, let's talk about João Cancelo. I mean, big move, obviously, Bayern Munich. When I hear that name, I'm like, oh, Bundesliga. <laughs> what is happening? This is a crazy move that came out of nowhere. Crazy move, yes, but it's almost done. They are finalizing the final details. Bayern and Manchester City will be done later today. But João Cancelo will be new Bayern player. Agreement on a loan deal with a buy option around 70 million euros. Uh, the player is going to be on his way today, later today, to have his medical as new Bayer player. Really surprising, but not that surprising for those close to Manchester City and Manchester City staff because the situation was really difficult in the last few weeks between Joe Cancelo and, uh, and the staff, also between Joe Cancelo and Pep Guardiola, I'm told, was not an easy one because he wasn't playing. And we know how Cancelo uh, already had this kind of problems when he was at Inter with Spalletti, when he was at Juventus with Allegri. Uh, and so the situation is happening again. And so Joe Cancelo asked to leave to have a new opportunity. Bayern have been really fast, very smart in keeping this deal quiet until they reached an agreement um, almost completed now with uh, Manchester City. And so we expect the player to have the medical later today. And again, loan with Bayern option not mandatory so buyer will be able to decide in the summer 70 million euros Joe Cancelo I thought he would have been someone who was very happy at Manchester City I would have thought that someone who's not frightened to fight for his place in the starting 11 am I sensing here Nigel that there's a bit of an issue with uh, Pep Guardiola and some of his players Listen, I keep going back to that Tottenham game and I've told you that. Pep Guardiola is someone who keeps his cards close to his chest. He doesn't really let his emotions out that much unless it's certain things he wants you to know. That reaction from a top-class manager talking about motivation for the players and the fans tells you a lot because that is the biggest probably outburst I have seen from Pep Guardiola being a manager when it comes to publicly talking about his players because normally he's very quiet. I feel that there's a lot going on behind closed doors. I feel that there's a lot of unhappy players at Manchester City and especially from that. And let's just say Pep Guardiola's man-to-man -man skills aren't the greatest or they are good for a couple of years until he's not really, you're not in his good books anymore. I'm surprised that Zal Cancelo doesn't get a lot more playing time. I, I think he's a top-class player. I think he's great for any team that takes him because of what he brings, not just in the attacking sense, but defensively he's good as well. But if you know how to use him and utilise him well, he is very impactful as a player. I just think that there's a lot of cracks happening in Manchester City, in my opinion. I think there will be some questions now about Pep Guardiola staying there long term. I don't feel that he can take them any further. I still don't feel he'll be able to build a squad good enough to win the Champions League. And I think that this is just the first of a few things that's going to happen at Manchester City that's going to surprise us. Mm -hmm. uh, Nigel, in the last few seasons, City have done incredible. But in the last few seasons, they've had so many attackers. This year, with the transfers coming in, they are overloaded with defenders. Look at how many center backs they can pick. They have three, four, five, six at a time. Given who's going to start? Many players. Who, who, who are their left back options if oh, when Cancelo goes? Nathan Ak Nathan Aki's been playing over Joao Cancelo. Nathan Nathan Aki is naturally a center back, but mm -hmm. he he can play both positions. Guardiola has wanted Nathan Aki more than Cancelo. And if you're Jacques Cancelo, you're playing out of position. You won him a Premier League title. You were the best left back when you were natural right back last season. So as a player like him, I would feel disgruntled. I would feel betrayed when I'm when I when I did what I did last year and now I come in this year and you're bringing in a player who wasn't even part of the fold and now he's your first choice guy. You should have played better. Do you, do you think Pep's shedding a tear right now about that? Like Pep's been in this business so long now. He that's, that's the thing, but that's the thing with this. Pep has to be careful. Jao Cancelo, yes. If you're Pep, Pep has a history of letting players go who are not who are not happy. Gabriel Jesus, not happy, gone. Raheem Sterling, not happy, gone. But if one goes and the next domino of players go who have gotten you the success at City, you have to be careful because that I don't is know a, if core. I agree with that. a talented I core. I don't know if I agree with that. I think the mentality, I mean, it even goes back to your club, Manchester United. Sir Alex Ferguson used to do it great. You know, when, when the time was up for a certain player, they, they, he was done with them and it was next man up mentality. Manchester City, we must not forget, have all the money in the world to be able to buy whoever they want to buy. They have a terrific That's squad fair. of players. Obviously, it's an interesting question as to who's going to come in and replace him in that position as a, as a set player. Um, but, you know, I, I think at the end of the day, Pep Guardiola, like the boys are saying here, probably is not losing much sleep over this transfer oh, no. getting done. I'm a bit oh. disappointed, like Nigel pointed out. I think he's a fantastic player. And when he plays, I'm always on the edge of my seat because he loves to get forward with absolute fluency. And in many ways, James, I think he'll actually be suited into the Bundesliga better than he will be in the Premier League, even though it was great in, the, in City's uh, first team. 
I mean, it'll certainly be interesting. Uh, my assumption is he comes into Bayern and plays as a sort of natural right back, goes yes. back to that role, and Alfonso Davies mm-hmm. is on the other flank. And it's great, great deal for Bayern. I have my doubts whether they will pay up in the summer to sign him. It's going to be a lot of money for a 28-year-old when we know they want to sign that big money striker. So I do wonder if if City are basically kicking the can down the road. I mean, look, I don't, I don't really understand this from a Man City perspective, unless you feel like what, what we're really talking about here is a club that can't manage Pep. You know, Pep is his authority is so unquestionable that City, it would appear, are willing to go into you know the decisive period of this season with a repurposed left back, with a repurposed centre back at left back, and his backup. Um, the guy's name, Sergio Gomez, Yep, it has ne- not looked good enough because, of course, he hasn't. He's a kid. You know, he wasn't the one they wanted to sign. They wanted Kukurea. I'm certain Kukurea would be a lot better for City than he is for Chelsea. And, you know, you have to kind of sometimes be willing to ride out the rough. You know, Cancelo might want to leave. Um, Cancelo clearly does want to leave. That's the indications we've got coming out of Manchester that he's pretty keen to move on after a bust-up with Guardiola. And Guardiola's view in those cases is always let them go. Well, you let Zinchenko go, not you know, not for a bust up, but because he wanted to move on and find something new. You can't just place. doing this. You can't. But that's be... the point, though, James, isn't it? Because he the, the whole Arsenal rant said about oh, Arsenal haven't been in the top of the Premier League or won a league title mm. in two decades, and then they've got Gabriel Jesus and Zinchenko, who both players left your club. And mm-hmm. you're praising them of what they've done and, and how and they, they know how to they, they know how to win. win. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they know how to win. And you're crying at your club. So why don't you just treat them better? There's there's a fine balance for me. And I think what about James what, and Ian? What's your thoughts on Diaz as well? Because Diaz is another one that hasn't really been getting a tremendous amount of game time at Manchester City. And it, and it was interesting to mm. to see what he said. I will pick up on Diaz, but it was interesting to see what he said about Foden, where he said that Foden was not sufficiently match fit and he yeah. wasn't coming back from an injury you know there was there was criticism there and we've seen Foden drop out of of contention a little bit I mean the strange thing is this has happened before and you know City have kind of ridden it out with Bernardo Silva I mean he's the obvious example he wanted to go was it the season before last and they just said you know in the end they, they kept him partly against his will but look how look how effective that was I mean Diaz is another it's hard because like a lot of what City have done with that defence looks really good. Ake was fantastic against Arsenal. Um, John Stones has, has take, come on leaps and bounds. Akanji is a good signing. I love Rico Lewis, although he was he is going to get exposed because he's a teenager. And the games where he's tested defensively, he's going to find it hard. But like, you know, that you're robbing yourself of vital depth. You're Experience. putting yourself in... A, in a real headache mm. when you're going to be competing in four in three competitions, going deep in three competitions. And I think sometimes you've just got to suck it up, keep someone like Cancelo around, even if he's unhappy and go, you go at the end of the season, it happens everywhere, but, it, but, but not in this case. Mm-hmm. I think this will be the first of many exits from this city team. <laughs> you look at the players who they brought in, who are playing, as I said before, and you look at the players who are still there, or might be leaving, that are expecting to play. These are guys who are starting for their national teams. And as Ian, you said it with Bayern, I'm going to say it with City. Looks like there's something wrong with Manchester City. Yeah, I mean... Jesus Christ, there we go. (laughs) It's it's the label. The label. Definitely the results tell you that at this moment in time. I want to turn our attention to Bayern in just a minute. But James, we've got some questions coming in to you. And there's a lot of people in the chats right now. Uh, one really interesting question here, if I can find it. It was uh, from Yo Z one He's asked, can it be Tierney that is the left back that Manchester City will try to buy? It's actually an interesting question with what's happening at Tierney right now at Arsenal. I can't imagine that would be the deal that they would go to. But I do enjoy watching Tierney play. And um, we also have other people jumping in. Aaron saying, can I ask questions to James Ben? You absolutely can, uh, Aaron. To see you there, obviously throwing a ton of questions in. Um, so we will try to get as many as we can out to James while we got him as well. But James, let's touch on the Tierney one, and then we'll turn our attention to Telemans real quickly on Arsenal. It does make a huge amount of sense to me, just from the perspective of the reason that he might, and that you know, parties are open to to offers and, and new places of work in the summer, as as we said on House of Champions last week. The reason is he doesn't really fit what uh, Arteta wants. He wants someone that can invert, that can build play, that be function like a midfielder. And he did, that's what Guardiola will want as well. Um, I mean, certainly from everything I've heard, this isn't like Tierney's not likely to move in the coming day. Um, 
So, I mean, maybe in the summer, we'll see. He will certainly not be short of, of takers. And if you can find the right club, I think something can be done there by all parties. But don't see it happening between now and uh, in the next 18 hours, which could make me look very foolish. 24 hours, however long it is.